Hello and welcome to how to make a seesaw. So in this episode we're going to be using the physics constraint to show how to make a simple physics based seesaw which you can use for platforming and other little puzzle elements in your FPS games for example. So we first of all create a new blueprint class and this is going to be an actor and we'll call this one a seesaw. Inside here we go into using our physics constraint along with a couple of assets. The first asset we're going to use is going to be a, a simple cube. And I'm going to simply shape this for my seesaw platform. And we'll just make that a bit smaller. Like that. And I'm going to also add a simple uh, cylinder as well. So static mesh. And this will be the pivot of the cylinder. And another one, this one. We're going to rotate that round and scale that down. Like so I'm just going to position my static mesh of my cube here up a, up a bit here. Like so. Now I'm going to add a physics constraint. So we're going to here and type in physics constraint. And I want to position it roughly where these two will connect. So I'm going to move that up here and that should be okay. The next we're going to go over to the physics constraint and we're going to name our components. So the first component we're going to add in here is going to be a cube. And a cube here you should light up with a red outline. Then component name two will be static mesh, which is the name of the anchor point there. And then we we'll go down to constraint linear uh, angular limits. And looking at this ball shape here in the center of the um, physics constraint, you can use this to guide you in which way you want to go. So then we will go into the center of our physics constraint, go to its angular limits, and we're going to lock the swing in limits and you're left with just the twist and I can leave it freely like this that'd be totally okay I'm cool with that and then we'll go over to my cube and turn it to simulate physics Hit compile and then we'll plug this into our world so there it is and we're just going to position it on the floor there hit play and there it drops to the f floor so I can walk on it and have a little seesaw Now because it's dead center, you will get it balancing like this. So sometimes it may be worthwhile to have it not so centered. So let's just move that over to the right a little bit. So. And there is our seesaw. And if we scale this up. do so like that and I'm also going to just change the static mesh here and we'll make that uh, a bit longer like this position that there change the cube or well, maybe not that high hold on and put a physics constraint in the correct place play there you go now got a seesaw which you can use for platforming challenges like this to go up on other bases and this will work with any physics objects as well so if I put a physics objects on the end here we will see that happen so if I turn on the simulate here simulate and if I grab these physics boxes over here and put that on seesaw, that will affect the seesaw. Okay. 
and that is how we make a seesaw using a physics constraint. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch more how to's and other videos, all before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lely, where a donation of just one dollar will get access to all of my videos before anyone else. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.